make from the next session. If it's your first time, please consider subscribing, supporting this channel. Remember, right over right now here we in Colnesh and we are trying to see uh, the already the qualified teams of the FIFA World Cup. When I talk about the FIFA World Cup, it means the first. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the 32 teams that are going to compete together, to competing for the prize, which is the trophy. You know what it means. It definitely makes everyone mad. It will definitely make everyone think is mad and enjoying the game. We are talking about the FIFA World Cup, and we are talking about Qatar. 2022 which is quite very interesting so in this video i'm going to try to let you know i'm going to try to let you see what are these different this country that i've already qualified what is your favorite team? if you can talk about what is your favorite team is among the teams that are qualified your favorite team yes if that is the case then definitely you have to support your team you remember when we are mentioning about the fifa world cup still we cannot fail to mention what we call the opportunities that has created opportunities when we are looking at work itself and we are looking at rent we are looking at the opportunities that are being created by what you call the fifa world cup qatar 2020 thank you so much thank you so much i see you right over here we have what we call the colonies and this is exactly how the place looks like let's go in the video i'm trying to see definitely if you are if you are given an opportunity right now to come to Qatar, could you resist the opportunity or could you take up the opportunity? Because remember, when I talked about the opportunities, we are talking about even the opportunity of being in the country that is hosting the FIFA World Cup. It's, it's also another big opportunity. So right now, we, this is what we call, it's what we call the Cornish. And this is how this place looks like. This is what we call the Cornish definitely. And you know, when we are talking about the Cornish, and this is what we call, we are talking about the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. Remember? Opportunities. We remember the game that is going to cross over and it's going to give us what we definitely see in one world. Thank you. Thank you so much see you again. When we try to see, let us try to go and see what are these teams and how do the teams look like and how definitely, what do you expect when we are talking about the FIFA World Cup? Remember we are talking about Qatar. We are talking about Qatar 2022. We are talking about Qatar 2022, which is pretty, very interesting and very good. Thank you so much. For those that have subscribed, please, if you are returning to this channel, please, consider hitting that notification bell by the way don't forget to put a comment in the subsection i will always be very important and very important to get back to this channel and make this is in today's video i wanted to move you around what you call the whole board that is uh, the clock the fifa world counting clock it's quite very amazing if you can see definitely how it is this is what we call the Cornish. It is pretty very beautiful. And this is the sunset down. This is how definitely it looks like. Remember, when we are talking about the FIFA World Cup, we need a tournament. We are talking about the tournament of 32 teams grading, fighting together for a, a winning the trolley, the prize of trolley. Remember, this inviting almost all fans around the globe of the world uh, with fighting for the men. So in today's video, I want to try to show you let us try to see how many days do we have as countdown, how many hours do we have, how many minutes and how many seconds. It's quite very interesting if you can definitely look at this. It's definitely, when we talk about the FIFA World Cup, I remember, you, something that you need to definitely know is about the opportunities. When we are talking about the opportunities in the Gulf, we are talking about the opportunities in Qatar. We can't fail to mention what we call the FIFA World Cup. This is what we call World Cup. Right now we have 172 days. We have 18 hours. We have 59 minutes and we have 52 seconds in one more weather. This is definitely how it looks like. This is the crack level. And definitely this is what we have to talk about. So when we are talking about this small country right now, it is hosting what we call the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. Great opportunities for all of us. Great opportunities for people around different group of the world. Remember, it is expecting over fans and fans million clocking for a kind of period of time. Moving towards what we call finding very good. This is how the place looks like. Treatively, if we can talk about the beauty of the place, this is how we talk about. 
these are what you call the flags of the FIFA World Cup. That is what you call the FIFA World Cup Qatar emblem, Qatar 2022. And those are the flags of the World Cup countries that have already qualified for the FIFA World Cup, which is quite very interesting which is quite very interesting. We want to see how bad it's going to be look like, how it's going to look like in this Gulf country, hosting what you call the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022, which is pretty very good in one way or the other. So it is definitely, it is something that we need definitely to see and we need to know. For here we have what you call, we have what you call, is called Mexico, Mexico, qualified on the 20 is the 28th nation to qualify for the fifa world cup and it qualified on the 31st of uh, 31st of third of 2022 which is quite very interesting and quite very beautiful we have another african country which is called cameroon it is the 26th nation to qualify and it qualified on the 29th of uh, 29th of march 2022 Right now over here we have another country, it's an African country, which is called Tunisia. Tunisia is the 24th nation to qualify and it qualified on the 29th of March 2022. We have another country, that is Portugal. It is the 22nd nation to qualify for the FIFA World Cup and it qualified on the 29th of 3rd of 22, which is quite very amazing. This is the Mexican flag, if we can try to wrong cheat out and to try to show you this is how the flags get to look at. remember we talked about tunisia we talked about cameroon and we also talked about mexico that is the qatar 2022 emblem this is how the flags are flying all over and we see for right here we have another african country which is called ghana ghana qualified on the 20th of 20th nation to qualify and it qualified on 29th march 2022 actually when you look at the emblem the details on this world cup flags they'll give you the date when that country qualified and it will also give you the number when it qualified the position and also the date right over here we have what you call another nation country that is ecuador for those people that know about ecuador this is ecuador it is, is the 18th nation to qualify and it qualified on the 24th of march we have another country is called the kingdom of saudi arabia this is how definitely look at the flags this is the kingdom of saudi arabia and you definitely have to look at the flag it is 16th nation to qualify and it qualified on the 24th third of 2022 we have another country is south korea which qualified on 1st of 2nd 2022 it is the 14th nation cup to qualify if i can try to take you up you can see the flag of south korea this is how it definitely looks like it's quite very beautiful how they, they get to be lined up in one way or the other definitely when we are i talked about the kingdom of saudi arabia it's quite very very interesting you know if we're talking about the gulf and definitely we can't wait to have the very interesting football that is coming from the gulf countries which is pretty very good so we go to another country for those that have the favorites we are talking about argentina argentina is the 12th country to nation nation to qualify and it qualified on what we call on the 16th of uh, november 16th of november 2021 this is the argentinian flag it's quite very interesting then the next country we have is what you call switzerland we shall move up to all countries and definitely you see what i'm talking about switzerland is the 10th nation to qualify and it qualified on the 15th of 11th of 2021 we are trying to look at the details the position and the date when this nation qualified then we are also going to look at the nation flag of this country such that you can have the full detail and you can know exactly if we are talking about this country definitely you know what is the flag how the country's flag looks like this is what we call denmark this is how the flag the flag of switzerland looks like so we go to the next nation is called serbia serbia is an eighth nation country to qualify it qualified on the 14th of 11 of 2021 and this is the flag of serbia montenegro then we get to another country is called croatia 
Croatia is the sixth nation to qualify. It qualified on the 14th of 11th of 2022. And this, when we get to close up, definitely we shall look at the flag of Croatia. That is how the flag of Croatia look like. For those people of Croatia, bravo. You look at yourself, that is how definitely you look at. We look at another country, Beneviola, that is called France. France qualified is the fourth nation to qualify and it qualified on the 13th or 11th of 2021. Let us look at that is the flag of France. This is exactly what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. Then we look at another country is called Denmark. Denmark qualified on the second, it's the second nation to qualify. It qualified on the 12th, 10th of 2021. And that is how the flag of Denmark looks like. Very beautiful. Then we can't mention, what we cannot fail to mention is the host country. The host country, which it says, oh, now is all. That is what we call the host nation. It's called Qatar. Qatar, remember when you're hosting the FIFA World Cup, definitely, you'll definitely have to be one of those. So let us try to look like how the flag looks. This is Qatar, the host country. Remember, it's the first Gulf country to host the FIFA World Cup, which is totally going to be very beautiful. Let's look over, over, over this side and we see other nations' country that qualified for the FIFA World Cup. So remember, we are on Kolnish. This is how very beautiful the place is. Another country is Germany. Germany was the first nation to qualify and it qualified on the 11th 10th of October 2021. For the German people, German fans, this is Germany. Then we have another country. Another country is Brazil, the third nation to qualify and qualified on the 11th of November 2021. This is Brazil, Brazil. When we talk about Brazil, definitely you know what I'm talking about. Another country to qualify is Belgium. For those that do not know Belgium, it's the fifth nation to qualify and it qualified on 13th 11th of 2021. This is how the flag of Belgium looks like. Very interesting and very beautiful. So, we are talking about these countries of the FIFA World Cup. We are talking about those countries that definitely they will die to see that they did to win the trophy. Another country which has each, which was the champion in 2010, that is called Spain. For people coming from Spain, it was the seventh nation to qualify. And it qualified on the 15th of November 2021. That's the flag of Spain. Remember, it was a world champion in 2020, 2010, that is in South Africa, which is actually very beautiful. We look at another country, people coming from England, definitely, this is what you cannot fail to mention. It's England was a nation, ninth nation to qualify, and qualified on the 15th of 11th, 2021. For people coming from UK, this is how it looks like. We look at another country, is the Netherlands. It was the 11th country to qualify and qualified on the 16th, 11th of 2021. And that is the flag of Netherlands, which is pretty, very interesting. All these countries we are talking about, they have the best football. They play the good football. The football that you get to, to, to watch and you really definitely get to enjoy yourself. Another country we are talking about, that is Iran. It's a 13th nation to qualify. It qualified on the 27th of 1st of 2022. That is the flag of the Republic of Iran. We have another country is called Japan. Japan qualified on the 15th nation. This is the 15th nation to qualify. And it qualified on the 24th, 3rd of 2022. Let us just try to cross, cross it and we see that is the flag of Japan. Remember Japan has been representing Asia in most of the World Cup tournament so we can't get to underestimate it as a team we definitely need to understand that it's also a team to take or to give a hand of our pros we have another 17 uh, 17th nation team to qualify that is called uruguay for people we talk Uruguay, we shall talk about you know definitely talk about shores and it qualified on the 24th of third of march of 2022 that is the flag of uruguay that is flag Europe. We go to another country, is Canada. Canada is the nine, uh, qualified on the 19th nation. It's the 19th nation to qualify. And it qualified on the 27th, uh, 3rd of 2022. That is what we call Canada. For those people that don't know the flags, that's the, Canada, the Canadian flag. Then we have another country, is called Senegal. It's an African country. 
it qualified on the 20 it's the 21st nation to qualify for the fifa world cup and it qualified on the 29th third of 2022 this is the flag definitely up there we can see the flag flying at full mass that is the uh, senegalese flag then we also have another flag is poland the polish people 23rd nation to qualify 29th third 2022 the polish people you can see your flag thing up on the mass which is pretty very good we are all talking about the teams that have already qualified for the fifa world cup battling together the 32 teams that will be battling together to see that everyone gets to win the trolley we have another african country over right here is Morocco that qualified on the 25th nation it's the 25th nation to qualify on 29th march 2022 and that is the flag, the flag of Morocco. Remember, we can't fail to, move, to mention this African country because when we look at the uh, when you look at the Arab Cup, the Arab Cup, we see much of the contenders of the tournament of the, uh, the Arab Cup. We looked at this of the most important countries that play the game. Then something else we cannot fail to mention is what we call the United States of America. For other people coming from the US, it was the 77th nation to qualify on the 31st, 3rd of 2022. And this is the flag of the United States, remember? This is what we talk about. When we are talking about the FIFA World Cup, we can't fail to mention this. Guys, it's pretty very good. Let's try to enjoy it. Hi guys, it's pretty very good and this is definitely what we can say. So we need to definitely mention this. This is how definitely. Right over that side we have we have city center. That is how we talk about. When we talk about Doha, we talk about Qatar. Definitely you know what I'm talking about. We are talking about the free skyscrapers all over, all over the places. And this is how beautiful the area is. This is what we call college. It's called the college. Very beautiful. Remember? When we are talking about the FIFA World Cup in Qatar, we can't fail to mention the opportunities gradually, the opportunities that are there and the opportunities that are around. Remember, it makes from the next question if you try to enjoy. Thank you so much. It makes from the next question. See you again in this video as we try to see all the other updates around. So this is definitely what we need to see. I want to show you the number of days, the hours, the minutes and the seconds which is quite very very interesting and very beautiful right so this is how this place looks like it's very beautiful this is how it looks like very very beautiful right so right so these are all the flags of all those nations that have already qualified for the fifa world cup hope you try to enjoy see you again as we try to see other videos